Hello from a rather grey and dreary Wednesday the 10th. I'm FX Plu and this is the Market Brief. So despite all the good news and positivity about the UK recovery, some concerns are just beginning to creep in. There's a suggestion that the recovery will return us to consistently lower growth than we had in the pre-pandemic uh, economy. And that would mean interest rates would stay lower for longer. As you'd expect, this has added a new angle to the debate over negative interest rates. Um, the, econ- the, the, the economic benefit from releasing all the pent-up demand when the shops reopen next month is likely to cause a short-term spike, as expected. Um, but the longer-term outlook remains less clear, especially with the looming cloud of unemployment still hanging over us. The uncertainty there is growing. Um, And just while we're leaning into all the doom and gloom, the science nerds were on yesterday as well. They've warned of a possible third surge in infections, which served as a friendly reminder that COVID-19 won't be uh, becoming a thing of the past just because the restrictions are lifted later in the year. Nevertheless, Sterling rallied back towards 140 again. Uh, We topped out at 139.25 against the dollar yesterday and we opened slightly lower around uh, 138.80 this morning. Um, Optimism for the US recovery has been growing since non-farm Friday delivered that really strong unexpected result Um, and and since the Biden bill was passed at the weekend. um, Forecasts now suggest a faster drop in the unemployment rate and target suggests uh, we'll end the year between 5 and 5.3% over there. But the Fed's not getting carried away. They remain cautious, expecting support will be necessary uh, for several months to come. And interest rates will remain low, even if we do see uh, an uptick in inflation. Um, As such, it's unlikely that Powell will change his rhetoric too much, but the market will be looking for uh, any hints of increased confidence at the press conference uh, when Powell is up after the Fed meeting next week. Um, At the ECB meeting, uh, Christine Lagarde is unlikely to say much about the euro. The apparent end to the recent euro strength is of course something that the bank would welcome, um, but it's not likely to draw a comment uh, from the bank. The uh, the euro dollar is comfortably below the 120 level now. Yesterday's high of 119.15 suggests 120 may be out of reach in the short term, unless of course we have a downside surprise uh, to the dollar, perhaps when the Fed meet next week everything to play for. Have a great day. Join me again tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.